So we're up here in Northwest Connecticut. My wife and I are building a house that we're gonna live in. And we used zip system sheathing on the walls. Uh, zip system's great, like many of today's water resistant barriers because it allows you to really efficiently take care of your water management and your air sealing at the sheathing level. And today we're working on the transition from the foundation to the wood framing above. The mud sill is a critical transition for a number of reasons. First of all, this is an area that's going to see a lot of water. Rain splashes on these walls and you know that when you're building a house because you see the dirt getting splattered up there all the time. Secondly, we have dissimilar materials, wood and concrete coming together and both behave differently. So this is an area prone to air leaks. So we took a little bit of a belt and suspenders approach down there at the mud sill. First of all, when we were installing the mud sill, we made sure to use a capillary brake and we put beads of sealant on both the bottom and the top of that capillary brake, um, both to keep water out, but even more importantly, for air sealing. So where the wall comes down and meets the foundation, we're sealing the joint between the concrete, the mud sill, and the sheathing with Huber's liquid flash. So the process is pretty simple. First thing we did was cleaned off the concrete, cleaned off the sheathing. Um, just took a broom, knocked off any uh, splatter from dirt that had gotten up there over the building process. The second thing we did was cleaned off the zip tape that comes down to the bottom of the sheathing with a little bit of acetone to get the release agent off of the tape. Then we put a bead of tape along the foundation. We used duct tape. It's what we found is sticking best to the green concrete. That's just to give us a nice crisp line where the liquid flash ends on the foundation because it will be a little bit visible. At the sheathing, we didn't care so much. That's going to be behind the siding. So the critical place to get the liquid flash is right into that joint. So ideally, your mud sill is going to be flush with the outside of your foundation in a perfect world. But that doesn't happen all that much. And in this project, we had as much as a 3 8 inch overhang. So we needed to really make sure that we got a lot of sealant up in that area. So I got a bead right in that corner where the concrete, the mud sill, and the sheathing all meet. Then I put a bead of sealant along the concrete and I spread that out with the spreader that Zip supplies. And I put a bead along the sheathing and I spread that out again, nice and even. Huber calls for 12 mils of thickness, but they also say that as long as you can't see the substrate below, you've applied enough of the liquid flash. In other words, if you can see the concrete or if you can see the zip, apply some more. So the last thing to do, and you want to do this before the liquid flash cures, is to pull the tape off for a nice crisp line. 